Okay, it's round two. And today, we've got new outfits that Robert's given us. Look at this. What do you call it? A smock? Yeah. Look at this smock. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Yeah. So we are ready to take on this engine for a second day. For those of you who haven't seen the last few episodes, let me explain. We just bought these two awesome Suzuki van vans to go on a new adventure here in the UK, but it turns out that mine wasn't so awesome. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Not only was the engine sounding weird, but it was also losing power, as I eloquently explain here. So my bike was definitely not ready for any kind of adventure just yet. So we brought it to our friend Robert's house because we know nothing about mechanics. And yesterday we miraculously managed to get the engine out the bike and started taking it apart to try to find out what was wrong. Or at least so Robert could try to find out what was wrong. That's your alternator. Is it magnetic? Well, no, that's the magnet. Oh, okay. I kind of feel like I know what's going on when I wear this jacket. So we're getting to nearly uh, the end of everything, basically, in this engine. Behind this here are the main bearings of the engine. And that's pretty much the last thing we've got to check. Because Robert's ordered a new timing chain, we have to anyway get this piece off. And that's going to allow us to check the last bits of the engine, find out if there's any other parts we need to order. But this is pretty complicated to get off because you've got a screw here. So you have to hold this part there whilst unscrewing this nut here. Robert's trying to find a spanner which might do the job. Oh, do you want me to hold one or are you okay? No, it's better, oh. better, you're better off holding it and doing it yourself. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's, not, that's loose. You're the professional man. <clears throat> I already did that joke last time. <laughs> I'm going to do the eye joke Whoops. again. Sweetie, don't make mess now. Oh, no. I've ruined all the part. If you can hold it up. Yep. Straight. Yep. Mind your thumbs. Okay. Mind your thumbs. Yep. Oh, yeah. Gone. It's gone. You've done it. Robert, you are a magician. That's your special tool. <laughs> <laughs> so then this can come off now. Yeah, just gently pull it off. That's it. Okay. Whoa. Oh, something's fallen. Yeah, no. I told you something would fall out. <laughs> <laughs> so that should come off there. Okay, dokie. Oh, Be careful okay, in case okay. that bearing does decide to fall apart. Oh. So there is the timing chain which oh. we can take off. Oh, we've done, done that to get that. So you all can do that. that. <laughs> just, that's it. Yeah. Oh my god! All of that work just to get the all of that work just stupid to get that chain off. out. Not the stupid chain. It's very yeah. important. It's to do with the timing. Yeah. Souvenir. There we go. Yes, wow. Thank you. Lovely. Lift it over my head. In between that bearing there and that bearing there. Oh, it's just a crankshaft. I can check this one. See if it's got any play in it. Which it doesn't. There's nothing in there. Right. It's okay. A rock. Unfold the piston so we can actually move it up and down and rotate the engine and we'll okay. be able to feel if there's any roughness in those bearings. Okay. So this is pretty much the last bit that we need to look at, but it looks absolutely fine, doesn't it? Yep. Really, really, really very smooth and there's no there's no up and down movement, there's no. no play, no roughness in the bearings. We've got this engine all the way down to the last part here. There's nothing else that we can possibly look at, which is good because it means we know what we don't need to change. We know that the engine is actually really, really good. We just have to hope now that the timing chain that we've ordered, which is coming tomorrow, that's uh, what's causing the issue. So now you know all about engines. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'll do it on my own. It's just so strange because when you heard the noise from the engine at the beginning, which sounded like this, like I really thought that we would open it up and even Robert thought that once we opened this engine up that we would find a lot wrong, that it would be, you know, half destroyed. So it's super strange that the engine actually looks so perfect inside and Robert says that he's checked all the moving parts in there. Everything is absolutely perfect. He can't find anything wrong with it. Yeah, so it would be really interesting to see once we get the spare parts to put it back together and see how the bike sounds and feels then, hey? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fingers crossed. The next day. How do I look? 
ready to start. Oh yes. So today <laughs> is day three and today is put back engine together day. I think everything's going to be right when we put it together. With our dinky hammer, we can get the job done. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Did we put it in the right way though? <laughs> so we're just aligning the timing chain. So you've got two marks here and here. And those marks have to be parallel to this line here and that looks it looks pretty good you have to make sure that that timing chain is attached in the right place so that both sprockets are in the right place so that everything is going to be working in synchronization a few moments later this is an essential part of the <laughs> process of putting an engine back together the tea break <laughs> most important thing of the day yeah that's right Install the new gasket washer to the bolt. Install the clamp to the oh goes there. An A. A there. Okay, okay. yep. And then the locator is there. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh yeah. Hey. Uh, oh yeah. First time. Wait, what about this piece now? <laughs> Look how nice that looks, hey? Yeah, our brand new oil filter. Okay. Oh, brilliant. It's quite loose, isn't it? But this spring holds it in. Yeah. And now I just put this piece on, do I? Hold on. No. Oh. Oh, there's, ah, a, there's okay. a seal. There is an O ring here. Look, okay. Look. That needs to go on where that came from. Okay. The okay. way to do it is to get something like this. Yeah. Stick that on there like that. Yeah. And stick that in the hole. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And then I'll shove it down. And then shove it down and put it on. Okay, it's on. Perfect. And then this piece, which is really, really oily. Yeah, uh, do you want to? Just give it a wipe, yep. yep. <laughs> oh, I was aware that's happening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's back together. Oh, look at this. <laughs> that's my back together noise. So we are now ready to take the engine back over to the bike, start hooking everything back up again. Dude. <laughs> Moving the engine, moving the engine. How heavy yep. is an engine like that? It's got to be a hundred kilo, I'd say. Swivel it round. Okay. Okay. Is that the right way around? Yes. <laughs> Slide it underneath there, and then, then. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Wait a second. Okay. Yep. Up, up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna go up more at the back than the front, isn't it? Well, then jack it up a bit more. Jack it a little bit more. You're getting closer. Just gently. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna jiggle it about a bit. Okay. And yeah, this is more like it. Hang on. Let me go. Let me get my hands around there, so I can just lift it a bit for you. It's going. The engine is in, ladies and gentlemen. The engine is in. Yes. Yes. Halfway. Back on the bike where it belongs. We're slowly running out of bolts, which means we're getting closer. So what have we got left? Just that. That goes on that side. Okay, that's for that side. And then we've just got these. my hands I stayed clean the whole day <laughs> until the end hey eh? until the end okay okay wait yep 
The light's gone off. That's good. You ready to give it a go? Yeah. I can I can see what I've done wrong here. I didn't put the plate on straight. Here. I didn't have one job! <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, round two. Oh, 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 Try again. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's working! It's working! <laughs> yeah. No. It's not as silent as yours, is it? It's not as silent as yours, no. So after two days of hard work, with the engine sounding exactly the same as it did before, we realised we had managed to fix absolutely nothing. Time to call it a day. So another day in Rob's man cave here. And because the rattling was actually still there, we still couldn't get rid of this noise. So Robert decided actually to take the whole bit off again. Yeah, he just wanted to double check uh, the crankshaft. <laughs> to see if he could find any play in this part at all that might be causing the noise. But he couldn't find any play. Like it's, he said it's perfect. We've checked and double checked now. So the next step Robert suggested is we take the fuel injection system off of this bike and actually try and fit it into Lavi's bike because we know that her bike is running really well if the fuel delivery to the engine doesn't have the right fuel to air mixture apparently that can cause the engine to knock as well we've already taken all this off so this is the part that we're going to be changing over because her bike is working perfectly at the moment if we put this part in and then it doesn't work perfectly then we know what the issue is. We want to know what's wrong. What is wrong? You hold this one up? Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Three to one? Yep. Yep, yep, just go in. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oh, there we go, all, you're all, off. All of a sudden it's come off. Okay, the other, the other one's over there. Yeah. You've got to reverse everything now. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, yeah. Let's try it out and see how it sounds. In neutral. Yeah, in neutral. Well, there's no rattling. To me, it sounds louder than usual. Yeah, to me, it sounds a little bit louder as well. A little bit. It is punting a little bit. If you yeah. listen to it, you can hear the, the revs slightly slowing down and speeding up. Yeah. yeah. Bye. 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 Bye, Marco. Five minutes later. Oh, yes. We have a fuel issue. It's not working at all. It's. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yes. Yes! 100%. <laughs> so easy to replicate. It happens very quickly and mostly only in high revs. Yeah, yeah. It starts off all right. As soon as you get over uh, three or four thousand, then suddenly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we found the issue. Shaka. We found an issue. <laughs> yes. So we found that there is an issue with one part of this fuel injection system and that could be the filter it could be the fuel injector here it could be the throttle body so we can start narrowing it down now and we're going to start with the fuel filter and take it off of this one which we know is good put it on that one take it for a run see how we go <laughs> i like your riding outfit okay okay let's finish off Five minutes later. It is not the fuel filter. Let's find out if it's the throttle position sensor. I ran over my cat. Did 
It is not the throttle position sensor. <laughs> All right, let's find out if it's the fuel pump and injector. See you in a minute. Oh yes, it's running like a dream. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? There you go. <laughs> Turns out that it's the fuel pump and fuel injector. Just from that one, like this. That. That's how big the part is, look. Such a difference that it makes though, wow. Three days later. <laughs> look what we got. <sighs> it's like Christmas morning. Oh. <laughs> it smells like petrol. I shouldn't have sniffed that in. I like the smell of engine parts. Here it is. Whoa! Ta-da! It's a new old throttle body, which includes, most importantly, a new fuel injector. We bought this on eBay for £129. And we didn't actually need the whole throttle body or any of this stuff or the filter. What we really needed was just that one part, the fuel injector. But to buy a new fuel injector from Suzuki costs about, I think, nearly £300. So it was actually cheaper for us to just buy secondhand the whole unit and the ebay seller was uh, a reputable secondhand parts supplier they did say that this part was tested and in working order so yeah i guess it's time to visit robert again Right, so you've got three yeah. you should have three connections on it. Okay. Right. There's one there, one there, one there. That's yes. it. You're, you're all, it's all there. It's all there. It's all there, yeah. yeah. Okay. We can always start changing things later, but yeah. bung it on as it is. Okay. Yes. It's time to try this new throttle body. Get it into the into the air filter first before you pull before you descend off. Okay. It's in <laughs> on my side. My, it's okay, push it in my side a bit more. Push, push, push. Put your nuts on here now. Okay, nuts to the bottom. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. One, two. Bloody pipes through. Okay. And then, then, then bolt your uh, air filter through. Yeah. Okay. Petrol is in. Petrol is in. <laughs> the bike is in yeah. one piece again. It was only two pipes going in, going from the tank, and you did one, and I did one. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm dying to hear the sound now. Oh my god. I did this once, yeah. Yeah, I know, I said I'd just have a quick check. <laughs> how much you've done, yeah, it's the feel, right? Okay, shall I try and turn it on? Yes. There you go. I think the noise is pretty much the same, isn't it? Is it? Oh. Well, I can think it's a little bit less. Time to take this baby for a ride. Okay. Everything together, all bolts done up. It's time to give this bad boy a run. Sounds just the same as before. Let's see how it runs, all right? We're gonna get out onto the open road now. This way. Okay, let's see how it runs. Oh, it does feel all right. It's definitely feeling all right. At the moment, it doesn't feel like we have any kind of fuel issues, which hopefully means that this new injector is working. Oh, got a bit of mud on the road. But at the moment, I'm not feeling any loss of power at all. Honestly, it's really feeling all right. I know it's sounding weird, but it feels absolutely fine. Like really, I can't. All right, I'm gonna do one more up and down. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, here we go. 
We're coming up to 50 miles an hour now. Oh, what was that? Was that something? Oh no! No! Ah, oh, we're getting a loss of power. Oh, we are getting a loss of power. No, it doesn't feel like it's fixed. It was just then on that run that I definitely felt a few losses of power. Ah, oh, no. So I took the bike out again and I took it for a bit of a longer run this time and I haven't been able to replicate the issue again. It is actually feeling a bit better. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to ride this uh, back from Rob's place all the way back to our place. So that's about a 30 mile journey. Lavi's going to be riding it. So we'll see over that 30 mile journey if Lavi's able to uh, feel the issue or if it runs really well and we'll go from there. <laughs> Nearly knocked it over. So all in all, the bike was actually running very, very good. I'm impressed. Obviously the knocking is still there, but I didn't have any loss in power or any other sort of weird things going on. It was actually going very, very nicely. What? I was just talking to the camera. Oh. How was it? It was running really, really good. Like really no problem. Well, that's good news. <laughs> I think it's time to go on a trip. <laughs>